Midas cichlid, also known as Amphilophus citronellus. These fish are often confused with the red devil cichlid due to their similar looking appearance. Midas are large and aggressive fish that are recommended to be kept only by experienced aquarist. If you are a beginner and want to keep Midas cichlid in your aquarium, make sure you are well aware of all the conditions, requirements, and compatibility of Midas cichlid in an aquarium. Let's check out the ultimate care guide for Midas cichlid. Welcome to Finding Fishes, let's get started. Midas cichlid belongs to the cichlidae family. Its natural habitat is the lakes and rivers of Costa Rica and Nicaragua. As Lake Nicaragua is the only freshwater lake with a large population of bull sharks, here comes the justification of the aggressive nature of Midas cichlid. They will eat small fish, snails, plant material and almost anything that can fit in its mouth. The Midas cichlid has orange and white blotchy skin with a very pronounced hump on its forehead. They require moderate to intermediate level of care. They can grow up to 10 to 15 inches in size and has a lifespan of around 10 to 12 years. The Midas cichlid can be kept alone or in a pair. This fish is aggressive, yet in a large tank of at least 200 gallons, can be relatively tolerant of other large South and Central American cichlids of different species. In a small tank, this fish will become very aggressive, a predator that can wipe out your entire tank. You need to know what you're doing when attempting to keep a Midas with anything else, and that includes its own kind. As with many larger Central American cichlids, the Midas cichlid requires a very large aquarium, especially if you are wanting to keep it with other fish. Be sure to have a tank of at least 55 gallons for one female, 75 gallons for one male, and 125 gallons for a pair. If you are keeping them with other large fish then 200 gallons will be required, if keeping this fish with other fish, it is important to keep them in a tank which is larger, in order to keep them from killing their tankmates. The water temperature in the tank should range from 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The pH should be 7 to 8. Since they are omnivorous in nature, the Midas cichlid will generally eat all kinds of live, fresh, and flake foods. To keep a good balance, give them a high-quality flake food or pellet every day. Feed high-quality cichlid pellets, krill, frozen bloodworms, earthworms, night crawlers, crickets. Feed two to five small pinches of food a day. Feeding in smaller amounts several times a day, instead of a large quantity once a day, will keep the water quality higher over a longer time. All fish benefit from vitamins and supplements added to their foods. Warm-blooded animal meats, like poultry or beef hearts, should only feed these foods as an occasional treat. These types of foods contain high amounts of proteins and fats not normally found in this fish's natural habitat and can cause dangerous digestive blockages and ruptures if fed too often. There are several diseases that Midas cichlids can get due to poor quality water, higher levels of copper, and nutritional deficiencies. The most common diseases include itch, which is the skin infection caused due to the increased number of protozoans and water molds. This requires elevating the water temperature and proper copper-based medication. Hole in the head is another common disease that occurs due to poor water conditions, lack of vitamins, poor diet, or activated carbon in the water. It can be cured by using driftwood as it maintains the pH level. Moreover, Midas cichlids are also prone to diseases like parasitic, fungal, and bacterial infections. However, if you take care of the tank requirements and maintenance, you can save your fish from any kind of disease. Midas cichlids are quite easy to breed. Males are larger with big nutshell hump, whereas females are smaller with a less prominent hump. When they are 7 inches in size, they are ready to breed. They might take weeks to get acquainted. During this, they frequently stroke their nutshell hump over the partner's lateral line. They breed in the flat surfaces such as rocks and caves placed in the aquarium. During breeding, the nutshell hump grows more in size. A female is capable of laying 1,000 eggs at a time, so her belly increases in size. Both males and females are very defensive of their nesting area. And if there are some unfertilized eggs, they are eaten by the parents. The eggs hatch within two to three days, while fry are gray in color and stay in a group. As they mature, they develop a different color. They are capable to eat live food in a week. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.